The Presonus Eras 3.5 speakers have often been touted as the best budget monitor speakers on the market. So in this video, I'm going to let you know my experience using them for two weeks. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, I've been recommended these as a great pair of monitor speakers by a lot of folks that I trust and they get rave reviews on Sweetwater and Amazon and all over the internet, but I wanted to find out for myself. So let's dive in and see what my experience has been so far. Now, if you missed the first video, we've already taken our first look at these. That video is linked down in the description and you'll also find links to where you can pick these up if you're looking for some budget monitor speakers. A quick recap of what we've got going on here. The front of the speakers, you've got a volume control, you've got a three and a half mil aux in and headphone, as well as your power switch there. And that was one of the things that really attracted me to these, having that separate power and volume and aux in and out right there on the front panel. Around the back, we've got some more quality going on here with some balanced TRS and unbalanced RCA. So that gives you heaps of flexibility for hooking it up to different stuff. You've also got your acoustic controls there for changing your bass and your treble at the top. And that's something you don't see on a lot of entry level speakers. Now you'll also see there, we've got the speaker connection and that's because these aren't separate powered speakers. This one is your powered speaker and it connects up to the other speaker via Via some speaker cable which is this one and yes it's much lighter because this one doesn't have the amp in it it's just accepting the speaker cable now both of these are 25 watts each so you're getting 50 watts of power you've got a three and a half inch woofer there and a one inch tweeter on each speaker so some pretty impressive features in a nice compact size here on the Presonus Iris. So why did I actually go ahead and pick these up? I did have a pair of KRK Rocket 4 monitor speakers, which were very good. Here's the spoiler on this. These things are almost as good as those KRK Rocket 4. Now the Rockets are a four inch, these are 3.5. That doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but I just find that the compact size of these and the additional features are what really sold me on them. So let me tell you and show you what I'm talking about. So just like the KRK Rockets, we do have balanced input. So that means that you can connect up your speakers to audio interfaces, or in my case, a mixer via a balanced TRS cable. And that's super important to make sure you get the lowest level of interference and the best quality signal. The other thing that actually attracted me to these is we've also got RCA. So if you've got some older gear, you can plug it direct via an unbalanced connection RCA to RCA. We've also got the front panel here with your aux in and headphones. Now I've found this super convenient because I can have these hooked up to my Mac and then when I want to plug in an iPhone or an iPad, I can actually just use a three and a half inch standard cable and put that into aux in. I can also plug headphones directly in here if I'm not using them through an audio interface or through a mixer. The power button, this is huge. On my old KRKs, they were at the back. So every time I wanted to mute the speakers but still use my audio interface or my mixer plugged in, I would actually have to reach around and turn them off with this. Just with one flick of one switch, they are turned on and off right there on the front panel. Now the volume control here on the front is handy, but do be careful because if you've set up your volume, you've done your gain staging, you probably want to leave that at a static level, especially if you're using an audio interface or a mixer to come into these because you could easily change your volume in multiple places it does mean that you have to be on the ball when it comes to setting your gain levels. Now, one of the things that's hard when you're reviewing speakers or headphones is to actually talk about the sound quality. Now, I could play some audio back through these, but really you'd be hearing them through your own headphones or speakers or whatever you're listening via YouTube compression. So instead, you're gonna have to trust me a bit that the sound that these push out is really good. It is clean, it is clear, it is loud, and even when you turn them up, you're not getting a whole lot of hiss that you do get in some real low-end speakers. Now, if you're rocking some, you know, eight-inch Yamahas or Mackies or something, clearly going down to something like this is gonna be a downgrade. And some people will be turned off by the fact that they're not separately powered. I know that that's a big thing for a lot of people. So yes, if you've already got yourself some monitor speakers, these are probably not for you, but who are they for? Well, they're for people that are getting their first pair of speakers or maybe for folks like me that just want a speaker that has these additional features that is still gonna give you that quality output that you need for a smaller home studio setup. 
Before I bought these speakers, I did a bunch of research like you're probably doing right now. And I went to Amazon and Sweetwater and started reading reviews. Now, the folks at Sweetwater that buy things here have rated this five stars across 169 reviews, which is pretty much unheard of. So if you're listening to my feedback on this and you're thinking, hey, that's your opinion, it's pretty much everyone else's opinion too. The other thing that you may want to know is some of the specs. So let's scroll on down here and take a look at what we have under the hood with these speakers. So as we mentioned, we've got a three and a half inch woofer, a one inch tweeter there, 50 watt class AB, 25 watts per speaker for your total power there. Your frequency response is 80 hertz up to 20 kilohertz. So this is something to keep in mind. If you are working on a lot of really bass heavy stuff, you're not gonna be able to hear those sounds below 80 hertz, so your sub bass frequency. So if you're heavily into bass, then these are probably not the speakers for you. The good news is though, you can go up to the five, six, seven, and even eight inch version of these Presonus Eros get all of the same features but actually get a much bigger speaker with a better frequency range. There's a bunch more information in there that you can check out, much of which we've already talked about. You can hit the pause button now or you can jump over to the link that I have down below in the description if you want to check out more details. Now the version of these that I bought did actually come with some foam pads in the kit. Now I do recommend getting some of these or even just making some yourself because you'll notice on the bottom of the speakers, they don't have any rubberization here. So you will wanna put this on some sort of absorbent surface, ideally some separate speaker stands that aren't on your desk because they can generate some vibrations. But I've found just using these foam pads or just making some yourself from some one inch foam is going to do the job, especially here in the home studio. So the big question is, should you pick up a pair of Presonus Eros 3.5 monitor speakers? I really think you can't go wrong. If you are setting up a home studio, if you're on a budget and you've got about $100 to spend on a pair of speakers, these are what I would buy. They are as good as advertised and they're as good as the reviews that people have been putting out there for, again, for around that $100 mark to get all of your front panel there and then to get balanced and unbalanced and even acoustic tuning, it's kind of unheard of at this level. And I was actually skeptical going in that they'd be able to have all those features and still deliver the quality, but I'm super impressed with the quality of the sound you get from these. So once again, if you are in the market for new speakers and you fit the description that I've just put there, check out the links below to Amazon and Sweetwater and pick yourself up a pair of the Presonus speakers. I don't think you'll be disappointed.